My name is Javi Aure. I'm a research fellow at the Center for Fine no, Print Research. And uh, I'll, I'll talk today to you about my uh, research, uh, which focuses mainly on uh, 3D imaging applied to cultural heritage. Um, so first of all, I'll discuss the scanners that we have been developing at CFPR. Um, this is designed for planar surfaces, such as paintings, and then we have a smaller one, which was an early prototype, which we use for uh, smaller objects. Um, and then I'll, I'll discuss a little bit some of the results uh, from the scanners. So the scanner, um, it was designed to be affordable, and at the same time, we didn't want to. Uh, we wanted to have really accurate and and, and obtain very high resolution data. Um, so for that, we ended up using. Uh, one single camera coupled with a range of LEDs around it and basically the scanner is using uh, two techniques which are commonly used in, in, in machine vision and now here we apply them for cultural heritage. So one of them is, is photogrammetry which is currently happening now and basically it's taking multiple images from multiple positions but with overlap and then we can take those images and process them to obtain 3D models and other sort of types of uh, imaging. The other technique is called photometric stereo and that one consists of photographing the same area from the same position but using all the different LEDs from different angles and then from those we can extract with very high resolution the surface of, in this case, the painting at much higher resolution than we would from photogrammetry. So then the idea is that we can uh, join the two techniques together to produce uh, much better sort of high resolution data, uh, both in, in 3D and then in 2D. Um, for the scanner, uh, we have also developed um, the software, which uh, it's fairly simple, but at the same time very effective. And it works basically by uh, selecting the area that you want to scan. And once you know the field of view, which is what the camera is looking, then you can compute uh, automatically the number of images that, that you need for each technique and the overlap that you require. The software can also control the camera, so we can set the exposure, the, the power of the LEDs, if you need uh, stronger lighting or not. And then it systematically starts and it, it captures all the images that you need. Okay, I'll show you now uh, some of the results um, that we obtained with this scanner, which uh, focus on this uh, painting by uh, Italian artist Canaletto. Um, we were able to scan it last year. Uh, it was a painting being restored in Bristol, and we had a chance to scan it uh, just after it was restored. Um, I'm just gonna now focus on the tower bell there, just to show you a little bit the sort of uh, detail that we can scan with the scanner. And I'm gonna go into that little man on the ledge. On top you can see the scale, it's about one centimeter, so you can see we can get really good resolution. And obviously this is very useful for uh, conservation applications um, and restoration, so we can capture if there were any damages, you would be able to see them. We can capture all the cracks. And if you are an art hist historical researcher, really interested in uh, all the details uh, of paintings, you can really focus on them, explore them. I'm now going to show you, with the same level of detail, the the 3D surface texture as a 2D image. So we captured that as well with the scanner. And if we focus and zoom in, you can see that we are able to capture all the detail from all the brush strokes. We can see the way the artist applied the paint. In this painting is particularly interesting the architectural elements. Uh, Canaletto used to incise the paint with the brush. Here you can see on the Ducal Palace, for example, all the lines that he uh, incised on the paint to highlight all the architectural elements.
And from the same data, we can also create 3D models. So here you have a 3D model, which we have uh, online. This is a uh, much lower resolution than the original uh, data, as we have to stream this uh, live, so we need to reduce the size. But still, you can focus on the painting. You can zoom in, zoom out, move around. Uh, we can still inspect the texture as well. And it's a great way to interact with the painting. Um, we've been doing other objects, uh, not just painting. So with the smaller scanner, uh, we have been working with the Bristol Museum to digitize uh, this uh, Netsuki. And these are very small, about three centimeters, um, carved ivory figures. And using the same technology, we were able to scan the minute sort of carvings on the little Netsuki. Initially, this was done to um, produce some replicas to scale for children at schools. Um, unfortunately, COVID got in the way. Uh, so right now we are just focusing on the digital aspect of the exhibition. We have also been working with uh, books and manuscripts. We're interested here in, in looking at the material properties of the parchment and all the damages that you can see on the different pages. The way the ink was eating away the surface of the parchment, you can see very little. The covers. And finally, this is the painting that we're just testing now. Um, this was done instead of using multiple sections, just with one section. Uh, but yet, using the same techniques, we can still reveal really well all the brushwork and impasto of the paint surface. And then we can use this same data um, with the CNC machines that we have at CFPR to produce tactile copies uh, for tactile interaction, uh, maybe for uh, visual impaired and blind, so they can touch and feel the surface. Um, yeah, that would be all. <laughs>